Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you another Excel dashboard design trick. This is particularly useful when you have numbers with a lot of zeros. So we are going to learn how to drop some of the zeros and replace with either an M when it is in millions and then a K when it's in thousands. But the trick here is that we are going to apply it in one format. Okay, so the number will have the M or K in the same format. So if you are game, join me in Excel and let's go through this together. Okay, so here is a sample personal finance dashboard. And if you look at the top, we have actual budgets, the balance that is left, the trend for the months and all that. But what is important here is if none of the slices in my categories is selected, all the numbers are showing in millions, right? But if I select one of them, so example, if I select charity, right, I now get it expressed in thousands, right? So this is what we want to achieve, a situation where in that same format, we can switch between M and K, right? The same thing applies to the chart as well. So let's learn how we built this from scratch in Excel. So I'll roll this back and you realize that the numbers are currently expressed in full with a thousand comma separator here, All right? Now, let's go to the back end. So these are the pivot tables driving the dashboard. So our focus is to format these numbers. If you want to format any number, your shortcut is control one. All right. So if I select a number and I press control one, I get access to the format cells dialog box. So all the formatting options are available for me, All right? Now, let's go to custom. So if I select custom, this is the default script, right? So this is the custom script that is currently used to format this. It simply contains some digital placeholders, okay? And then a thousand separator, right? So this comma is also here. You also see a sample of how the number currently looks like here. Now, here's the thing. If I want to drop some zeros, Okay, I can just step at the end of this custom script, okay, and then bring in a comma. Okay, so this comma is going to knock off three zeros. It's particularly useful when I want to format it in thousands. So here I can add a surface, so I can put in a double quote and then bring in a K, close the double quote, and I have something like this. Okay, so when I click OK, this is formatted this way. Now, if I want this in millions, right, same way as I did, instead of bringing in one comma this time, I'm going to bring in two commas, okay? So in that case, I'm dropping six zeros, right? So here, I can now add and then bring an M, okay? Double quotes, and then I have this, okay? Now, if I want this in one decimal place, okay? What I can do is, before I bring in the two commas, I can step right after the zero and then put in a dot zero. So this is going to format my number to one decimal place in millions. So if I click OK, I get something like this, right? So we did a K and we did an M, but let's put it together. Now to put it together, what we are going to do is to bring in a conditional statement. So the conditional statement is going to be if the number that we want to format is more than or equal to 1 million, then it should trigger the million format. Otherwise, it should trigger the K format, which is the thousand. Okay, so to do that, I'll just step in here, bring a square bracket, okay, and then put in my operator, which is greater than or equal. Now, my number is 1 million. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So if this is triggered, right, I'll close my square bracket, then I want this to be applied, right? So I'm going to copy the whole of this. This is the first level. And then separate this argument with a semicolon, right? And then put the other side where it is less. So I'll just paste this and then change the operator to a less than. Now, instead of a double comma i'm going to make this just one okay and then instead of an m i'll make this k 
Okay, so in the same script, we are able to switch between M and K, and we are able to trigger it using these conditional statements, right? So if I click OK now, this is maintained. Okay, now let's test this in the dashboard. So this is currently reading 19.3 million. If I select charity, it reads 637k, right? So that's how we take advantage of the same format. So consultancy 4.4, entertainment, okay, then I have my K here, right? Now you can apply it to the rest. So I can come here, home, double click my format painter. Okay, click on this, click on that. And then even for the chart labels too, I'll do same. Okay, so now the expectation is if I come back to my dashboard, everything should update. Right. Now if I click, I now have the dynamic MNK switching in the same custom script that I use. Very useful, saves you time and it saves you some space so that your user can focus on what matters. I hope you learned something here. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. Thank you. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.